Well, yes, I think she is. I think the Home Office are doing, the Border Force, Immigration Enforcement are doing what they can within the constraints of current legislation. But I think people need to understand a couple of things, Kay. Firstly, this is a relatively new phenomenon. It wasn't the case that people were coming in these boats in my day. They were coming in the backs of lorries. This brings in all kinds of questions about international law, highly dangerous, uh, international organised criminal gangs, and requires a response which does require some changes in legislation. There is a bill going through at the moment which should help the border force to uh, initiate more enforcement action against the smugglers and against the migrants themselves. But at the moment, we are seeing unprecedented numbers of people coming across the channel in this way, and it's proving a very, very difficult nut to crack. Three times the number that there were last year. Do you think that the Home Secretary has the right strategy? Well, it's three times the number coming on this route, Kay. But if you listen to the Home Affairs Committee last week, actually the overall numbers of asylum seekers are down 4%. And that's because we've done rather well at stopping people coming by air or or by lorry. Um, but I think they do need help uh, in the home. I think it's right that we do ask for help from other departments. I think we do need particularly help, I think, from the Foreign and Commonwealth and Development Office, because this is an international problem, Kay. We do need new agreements with source and transit countries. First, to stop the smuggling gangs and put them out of business, but secondly, to accept people back, because the business model at the moment is all you really need to do is get into British territorial waters and claim asylum, and you're pretty well here and home and dry, uh, excuse the pun. And so I think we do need to have arrangements where we can send people back to safe third countries and to source countries when it's proven that their application has failed. And I'm afraid that system at the moment isn't working.